Welcome, everyone. This is David Pate, Vice President here at TBM Consulting Group, and I'm joined here today with uh, by Chris Broom, President of Draper Incorporated. Since 1902, a commercial and residential shading, audiovisual, and gymnasium solutions company. I had the pleasure of working with Chris along with our TBM team uh, from 2021 through today, implementing process improvements and management systems designed to support current business challenges and to support future growth. Chris, thank you so much for joining me here today. First of all, congratulations on the growth that Draper has experienced, even through these uncertain times we have faced over the last three years. Companies, especially now with a potential recession on the horizon, would like to learn what Draper did to manage through record inflation, increase increases in cost of cash, as well as labor challenges that I know that you had. Thanks, David. Always good to talk with you. Absolutely. My pleasure. So, Chris, can you talk a little bit about some of the key initiatives that Draper implemented that helped the company thrive through economic challenges over the last two to three years? Yeah, sure. When when we first met, David, one of the things uh, that drew, drew us to TBM and to get us to talk to you initially uh, was we were having success growing our, our product line, but that wasn't having the desired effect on our profitability. So we right. knew we needed to do some things differently. We needed to become more efficient. Um, we had had a lean initiative that started in the early 2000s that had worked okay for us, but wasn't something that we were able to sustain. So we were interested in ways in which we could become more efficient and improve our productivity. Um, that refocusing on our lean efforts has definitely paid dividends for us. One of the big things that you helped us with was the strategy deployment initiative what we needed to do was get our executive team on the same page and focused on the same things. We uh, had a lot of competing priorities and didn't have a good way of deciding which ones of those were more important in that strategy deployment uh, exercise was really beneficial in getting the executive team in alignment and on the same page. Right. And that really allowed us then to kick off the other things that we wanted to do. We had talked a long time at, at Draper about the need to do lean on a daily basis. You know, we had invested a lot in week long rapid improvement events, but one of the things we had, had talked about but not been able to make much progress on was how do we get our employees to think about lean uh, to make lean changes on a daily basis. And that's really where the management system uh, came into play for us. Yeah, that's, that's fantastic, Chris. And I, and I commend uh, the work that you and, and the team have, have done to change that trajectory and, and really uh, embrace sustainment. Um, and also, you know, every company has many competing challenges for resources. Nobody has resources they want. So, so figuring out how to deselect the less critical things and focus on the, the vital few is very, very important. And you guys did a great job with that. So, Chris, you mentioned management system uh, in your comments just a moment ago. But can you share more about what Draper's done to sustain the improvements and then about the impact those sustainment uh, activities that it has had on the business. Yeah, sure. I, I mentioned earlier that we had had a lean initiative before, but we weren't able to sustain it. And that's one of the things I really like about the management system. It gives us a way to do lean on a daily basis, but also make that visible for our employees and for our management team. So we record information uh, on a daily basis. We review it with the factory floor employees on a daily basis. And one of the things I particularly like is it's a tiered system. So that information that we're recording daily uh, cascades up to the management team so that they can look at that, identify trends, and come up with ideas for uh, improvement 
and then see that those improvement ideas are being implemented and sustained. So it's a system that works really well for sustainment because of the visibility it provides. Another nice part about the management system that really helps with sustainment is the leader daily work, which is something that we haven't had in the past. Mm. It tells our production leaders what they need to do on a daily basis, helps keep them out of firefighting and focused on the things that we need to do uh, to drive and sustain improvements. So just, just staying with this question, just a second longer, Chris, you mentioned uh, engagement with the uh, workforce. Have you seen the engagement level improve because of use of the tier process in the management system? Yeah, I definitely feel like employees feel like their opinions, their input is valued. And that's something that can be a struggle to get people yeah. to speak up. Um, that the operators, they're really the ones that know where those improvements can come from. Sure. But drawing that out of them can be difficult from time to time. And by having those daily meetings, it provides a process for our employees to do that. So knowing that Draper has been in this industry since 1902, which is a, a very long time. So congratulations again for that. Uh, and going through many challenging economic eras in, since 1902, what advice would you give other business leaders? Yeah, I think one of the, the big things is stay the course, have confidence in your plan and in what you're doing and know that uh, oftentimes the best thing to do is to continue um, the efforts that you have ongoing and make sure that you're dedicating the appropriate amount of time to it. One of the things um, that the strategy deployment process really does is make you prioritize. So identify what's important to your business and then focus on it uh, is, a, is a real key I think to getting through difficult times. Another point that I wanted to make is, I think Draper's been successful because we've always looked for ways to grow the business. Mm. We've never been satisfied with the products or the markets that we've been in. And we've always looked for ways we can capture more business. That's been particularly important to us here recently, even through the issues that we had with supply chain challenges, inflation, et cetera, we were really focused on looking for new markets that we could grow our business in. Yeah, that's fantastic. I often say, you know, business is either growing or dying. And, uh, and Draper's been on a, a, a many, many year, century long uh, growth trajectories. That's, that's fantastic. And that's a great segue into the next question that I had for you. Um, you know, so we've made some process improvements. We put in management system. Do you feel that that management system and those productivity improvements not only has helped bridge the gap during the business challenges during COVID, supply chain challenges, uh, inflation, and now approaching recession, um, is it, do you think it also sets Draper up for uh, growth coming out of the pending recession? Yeah, for, for sure. I think the management system is going to be really key for us going forward. And with the uncertain economic times, there's continued pressure to look for efficiencies uh, to become more productive. It's, it's interesting to me, most of our competitors have moved their manufacturing to Mexico to look for ways to save labor costs. And that's not something we want to do. But we know we have to be able to compete with that. And that mm -hmm. means we have to continue to make improvements. We have to continue to lean our manufacturing processes. And I think the management system will help keep us focused on that. Again, it goes back to that visibility that I talked about earlier. You have mm -hmm. visibility of what you're doing on the shop floor, uh, up through the management levels, all the way up to our executive team. And I think that tiered system makes the management system extremely valuable. And it's something that's gonna be very, very important to us as we uh, 
as we come through these uh, uncertain economic times we have in front of us. Yep. Fantastic. Well, Chris, I, that's all the questions I had for you. I really appreciate you joining us here today. And um, kudos to the Draper team and all the work that you guys have done and success that you've had and will continue to have. Really appreciate you taking part. Yeah. Thank you, David. Uh, appreciate all, right, all the good. work that you guys have done with us. Our pleasure. Thanks.